Welcome back. This is Still Why in the Morning. Thank you so much for sticking with us. My name is Ram Maguko. It's a pleasure being with you. And of course, remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house. We're still broadcasting live through our website. And that's at www.kbc.co.ke for slash y254. Engage with us. We value your feedback. Keep letting us know where you're watching us from. Right here on Why in the Morning, we have a question of the day that has been posted on our social media platforms on Twitter. That's at Y254 channel and Facebook. That's at Y254. Head over to our social media handles and uh, follow the respective and like the respective pages. Uh, drop in your comments on the question of the day that we've asked and uh, let us know where you're watching us from. Okay. Feel free to engage with us. You're just in time for the next conversation of the day. And we want to talk about matters concerning youth and politics. As we do this discussion today, we shall uh, take a look at the paper. I am with, uh, jo uh, uh, to my far right, Thomas Obari, a political analyst. And uh, next to me, Juliet Nyabuto, a communications specialist. Karibu nisana? Muko salama? Hi, Thomas. It's been a while. My title changed. I'm, I'm not a political commentator. I'm an MC elect. Uh -huh. An MC, not elect. I'm an MC elected. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I got the news. You when you are vying for the MCA seat, and uh, I love the fact that uh, you won. Saizi tunazasama muheshimiwa. Thank you. Thank you. Sindio. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. And uh, Juliet, how are you doing? I'm doing well. You're doing well. I appreciate it. Like, where well, your title in the Geoka? 2027, most likely. 2027? Mambo Yazimio? We're with Baba till the end. Baba till the end. Till the end? Yes, till the end. Akisema, we jump, we'll ask him how high. How high? Akisema, Inama, how low? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we, shall take, we shall take a look at uh, the people daily and uh, some of the stories making headlines today include what Juliet has mentioned Baba Kisema Tunaruka 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 how high? Yes I don't know if uh, <laughs> this ever flies to Unaruka and Unauliza <laughs> <laughs> No, well, jumping. <laughs> how high. How high. <laughs> so, uh, the ODM leader, uh, Raila Odinga, has pleaded with his uh, supporters to abandon the, uh, uh, not to abandon the quest for uh, political and economic reforms. He called upon his supporters to uh, uh, not to give up and to keep on pushing. He observed that some of uh, his ardent supporters were losing hope and um, reassured them that hope and faith are not lost in the liberation struggle. And he said this, and I quote, and, I, and I'll get this from you, Juliet. Uh, he said, hold on to your horses as we reorganize, as we reorganize. Things aren't still that good to be in a rush for opinions. Juliet, so, uh, as a supporter of uh, Azimio, um, don't you think it's time we just said, you know what, it's time to just chill, relax, and just let's see how the government is going to run? Um, I think it's wise for Baba to say, uh, relax, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think uh, it's time for him to start criticizing the government or even having an opinion as opposition as yet. Mm -hmm. We're still waiting for the Kenya Kwanzaa government to do their things. We are still waiting for them to fail. Sorry to say. From next year, January, we will be there. Tutakuwa tusisi kama vijana wa baba, we will be there. Tutakuwa tunakosa from the very, from the first to the last sentence of whatever they are saying. Because as as it as it looks, we are the opposition. We cannot keep quiet. Baba has been a liberator for the longest time. Mm -hmm. And has his supporters. Tunangoja Baba make statement from now on, 
us as EMEO, we are forming the opposite the the the, the opposition of the opposition mm -hmm. and we, we we will be with baba till the end akisama 2027 we are running we are running if he says i'm giving the mantle maybe to someone like kalonzo we will say we will run with kalonzo till the end mm -hmm. yes and i'm happy that baba has spoken for a very long time he's been quiet he's been making short short statements but the, this gives us hope as people from the azimio uh mm -hmm. from the azimio side that baba has not given up baba is with us till the end yeah all right all so right. it's a very bold move i really appreciate that mm -hmm. it means a lot to us as as in and, and let me come to you honra bolobare uh, uh you, your thoughts first of all congratulations on uh, winning your mca ticket thank you i remember the last time i uh, we, we we had a discussion uh here you were vying it was before mm. the elections now yes, it's yes. after how does it's it after. feel since then nothing changed nothing changed really huh. We the only thing is that we are now have the responsibility to serve our people, but literally nothing changed. Nothing I, changed. I, I want to comment about mm -hmm. uh, what the right honourable prime minister said yeah. about the reforms. I support his sentiment that we should not give up the won reforms, with him or without him. All Kenyans should push on with the won reforms. We are not yet there as a country, and therefore we cannot relax mm -hmm. and uh, give up on the war reforms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and even let's talk about not giving up on the war on, on reforms. I was looking at some of the comments made by some Azimio uh, leaders. Yes. And here we are looking at, uh, for example, ODM chairman John Buddy and uh, CIA senator. Oburo Ginga, who had said that Raila, who lost his uh, fifth uh, running towards the president's presidency in uh, the past election, was still a force to reckon with. Uh, do you still believe so that he is still a force to reckon with? You cannot ignore the right of the prime minister. He mm -hmm. himself is a government. You cannot ignore him. So he is still okay. a force. He is still a force? Yes. Nyabuto? Still a force? Yes, still a force. Still a force. Let me read a tweet by the SC, Senior Counsel, Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi. He said this, mm. and I know this will poke someone wrongly, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and I quote, that the highest elected office of Honorable Rigathi Gashagwa ever held is Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And the highest elected office of Honorable Raila Odinga ever held is MP for Langata. Obviously, DP Gashagwa is Honorable Rela Oldinga's senior. End of, uh, end of quote. Um, I'll, argue, I'll argue with that. I'll say this. Um, uh, say elected seat, we might all... We, we, can, we, can, we can argue on elected seat, but Baba has been prime, mini, been, has been prime minister before. His um, conduct speaks for him. For himself, Gashagwa was a D, DC Amalko, a DO. and then you cannot compare the two. Baba has been in politics way back since 1992, 1997, all the way. We've seen his champion for the rights that we enjoy. That for Haji to come and even make that statement, it is Baba. Uh, 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 Baba. Nasir. Yes, uh. oh, it's Nasir. Yes. For Nasir to make even that statement, it is Baba that created that democracy where we are able to go and tweet online and say this and this and speak our voices. I think Braila should be respected for being, even if he's been out of government, for being even the leader of opposition and for always championing for the rights of the Kenyans. Mm. We cannot downplay Raila as a politician, we cannot downplay him as a leader. Yes, Gashagwa's role as of now might be higher, he might hold a higher office, but we cannot downplay Raila Amolo Odinga. He's made most of these politicians. William Ruto is a project of Raila Odinga. So for someone like um, Nasir to come out and make that statement, he should also ask himself that if it were not for Raila to provide a space for Ruto to even become the leader that he is right now, him, he would, okay, definitely he has his um, educative, uh, he, he has his, um, he's educated in his ways, mm -hmm. but we cannot downplay Raila Amolo Dinga, okay, he's the father okay. of democracy, mm -hmm. he's an enigma, one of his kind. I, I feel like um, for even 
uh, Ruto to get to where Baba is, it will take a very long time. For even someone my age to get to where Raila is, it will take a lot of a lot of time. It will take a lot of dedication. Even you, you, you mentioned even the president himself. The president cannot cannot fit in the same shoes of uh, the right oh. honourable Raila Molo. Let, 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 let me get you, Obare. There is this debate and conversation of between comparing. Uh, the deputy president regarding Gashagwa and Raila Odinga, and some are saying, who is, uh, uh, how do these two even compare? That debate is ongoing currently. My approach will be different. I will uh, look at it in terms of influence. The position of Raila Molo Odinga today, in terms of influence, mm -hmm. cannot match the position of Rigati Gashagwa. The two cannot be compared. Mm -hmm. Raila, as, an, as a, a nobody today, as, as Nasir puts it, is more influential than Gashawa, the deputy president. So you cannot compare the two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So we, we, we cannot say that Raila has, was an MP and uh, regarded de a deputy. We look at it in terms of influence. Yes, you can be deputy, but you influence no one. You can be a nobody influencing the entire country. Today, even the discussion you, you realize the discussion you're having is around a person with no office. That person must be influential. <laughs> <laughs> John Barry said this, and I quote, Raila is still our hero. He said that while Oginga was uh, 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 the veteran politician was now... Uh, John Buddy said that Raila is our hero, while Oginga said that the veteran politicians was now even more energized, that Raila is now more energized. And uh, I'm looking at uh, what the opposition leader said, is that the party leadership was aware about the concerns that, they say, that, that some ca county governors were not delivering to the people, and that this discussion came up about the cost of living now, uh, 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 the, the position of the party. Now, on Saturday, sources said that uh, 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 we are looking at the Azimio candidate, for Raila Odinga, when he vied. He has been active on the political scene uh, in recent days, and at the weekend, he attended several public functions uh, in, uh, in Nyanza. On Saturday, uh, sources say that he held uh, strategic talks with the governors from Nyanza region and western regions and uh, some politicians from Mount Kenya regions. But now the discussion uh, during the meeting came up was that uh, the politicians pointed out a number of issues and they said that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration m is failing to deliver on and uh, I'm getting your, uh, still on your barrier on the same top of the agenda we are looking at the cost of living and the promise to bring down the, uh, to bring down the cost of living for Kenyans over a short period of time and they are saying you know what this uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa government is failing Remember, the president said that it will be achieved after one year. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on the same? Uh, on that, on that I'll be with the president. Uh, the economy is a very complex system. And what we are experiencing in Kenya today, the high cost of living, is not only in Kenya. That is a world problem. It's like the world is running into a down, an economic downturn you realize we have the same problem that is being experienced in the U.S., the same problem that's being experienced in Britain. So this is a, an economic downtown that uh, I think is taking place in the entire world. Mm -hmm. But the, the, is it Kenya Kwanzaa or Jubilee? The Kenya Kwanzaa government, Kenya Kwanzaa. I, I've seen they are making few steps to remedy the, the situation. Like if you work in, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the price of gas is coming down then basic commodities is also coming down. So they are making effort in okay. what they're doing, yes. Though minimal, but... Though minimal, but they are making there's progress. An effort there is an made. effort. So progressively, we are going to see significant changes. We hopefully think that there will be... hope that there will be uh, significant change in the coming days. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, let me, Juliet, your thoughts on the same? Mm. Um, <laughs> I'll take you back to the campaigns. And I remember, and I will quote... In the Kenya, in the first uh, 100 days, the Kenya Kwanzaa government. In the first 100 days, the Kenya Kwanzaa government. And this this shows there's a difference between um, uh, politics and governance. Um, that was politics. That is what made people come out in large numbers to vote for the president. 
because they believe that in the first 100 days bei ya unga itashuka chini bei ya mafuta itashuka chini Kenyans we believing in a much more comfortable life it's almost 100 days there is nothing to show the only thing we have seen is one shilling from the for for the from ipra the petrol one shilling deduction uh, so far yet we are still buying a packet of unga for 230 shillings and i'm asking in the first 100 days there is nothing to show and us as opposition uh, we are still waiting, is the first 100 days Zishe, and then we will go to the streets and we'll ask the president, for how long will Kenyans continue suffering in this bad economy? Yes, I will argue that um, we do have uh, things like the Ukraine war and COVID that are, that are largely affecting our economy. But genuinely speaking, Kenyans are suffering. We do not care even who is the president. The youth are jobless. We are suffering. And kindly, Mr. President, wherever you are, we are genuinely, genuinely suffering. And it will not be nice that in the first 100 days in office that the Kenyans are out there in the streets challenging your leadership. It will not look right for you as a politician. So it's high time. And then we can go back to things like fuel and all other things. But Kenyans need to eat. And if we do not... I look into these issues, we'll start dealing with issues of crime rate, because the youth are, are, are unemployed. Sain tambia MCA, MCA su ni pe kazi, MCA ni ambe ea uku kushaja, niende uku ni gonge ofisi, ni kuja tapa ni ombe kazi. It's all, there, there are no jobs. So what will I, what will I go to? Most of the youth will uh, uh, deal with things like theft and crime. Wengine wata ingililia vitu kama... Um, how do I put it? Wash, wash, and all those things. So kindly, as you had said in the first 100 days, kindly just subsidize me, transit to Namiz, and then we'll focus on other things. But, I, but, 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 but right now the president is talking about patience. Patience, that's the word. But Kenya patience. Suffering. Kenya suffering. They, uh, we, they uh, 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 took over a dilapidated economy. It's okay, and he can challenge and say, Ati, I, I had this, there's a statement he made that the government, that was Babas and Hurus, are the ones that failed the economy. He should also remember that in the first five years while he was in office, uh, him and Uhuru were very close and very tight. The, there's nothing to show in the first five years of what they did. In the remaining five years, it was even worse. We also have to remember that there are some CAS, um, not CSs, we have some CS who have corruption cases and Hey, I'm hoping all the best for this government because <laughs> Nikubad. <laughs> Nikubad. Obara, do you agree with her? Do you yeah. agree with her? Nikubad. No, Nikubad. I, don't, I, I don't agree with her. You know I'm a trained economist. That is why I'm saying that the government is trying. The economy is very complex. There are steps that the government is taking and the fruits of those steps can only be seen after a certain period. Hopefully by January, as Juliet is saying, mm. there will be a difference. We are hoping. Yes. We are hoping. You're saying by January, mm. coming from a professional view, yes. giving it uh, the next few months. We'll give it a few months. November, December. December. Yeah, we're looking at uh, 61 60. days. Yes. 61 Hopefully days. Hopefully that the, the, the ripple effect of those actions will be felt by January, February. I hope we will be uh, uh, able to see the light of the day uh, mm -hmm. on, on that particular month because I'd like to have the both of you again. <laughs> yes, we'll be here. We'll we, be compare <laughs> we compare notes. <laughs> we compare notes and see whether whether Obare's prediction <laughs> is true or whether it will come to pass. We are, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. Mm -hmm. uh, the president said that uh, he's unveiling the Hustler Fund in 1st of December. Yeah. That is part of the remedy of what Juliet is complaining about. And then he said that uh, Kazi Kwa Mtaani is coming back. That means that there'll be circulation of money in the economy. With circulation of money in the economy, some of the complaints that we have, we're having will be minimal. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And, 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 and even as we talk about this, I welcome your feedback from wherever you are watching us from. Tell us what you think about some of these uh, issues that we are uh, handling, cost of living, cost of fuel, cost of private, pr uh, prices. What is it that uh, uh, you think will we see a ripple effect in the next few days uh, uh, as we look into the first 100 days elapsing. Mm. Remember, 
the Kenya Kwanzaa government administration is being accused of, 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 of failing to deliver on the promises that they gave to Kenyans. That is the discussion that we're having this fine uh, uh, Monday morning, be part of, uh, of, of this discussion. Even as we talk about that, one important thing that uh, uh, we are looking also into is uh, the CS nominees that were approved. Yeah. And of course, these are, these are things that took center stage last week. So let's talk about that. Last week, CSS approved, sworn in, and now we are looking at them settling down. They have left office and we are looking at the by-election that will take place in January, the 5th of January 2023. A by-election for Kandara MP. A parliamentary seat for Kandara and uh, the MP for Kandara was uh, Alice Wahome. For Garissa Township, the parliamentary seat for Garissa Township, the MP Aiden Duale resigned from that seat. We have uh, uh, Elgeo Maraquet County, Senator Kipchumba Murkomen resigned from that particular senatorial seat. And we are looking into a by-election that will be held on the 5th of January 2023. Obare, let me come to you on the same. Give me your thoughts on in, in regards to that. Our CSS, now they are in office. This thing happened last week. Your thoughts? The by-election, that, that is definitely a Kenya Kwanza affair. Mm -hmm. You realize those are their regions. Yeah. So we expect nothing much. Mm -hmm. We expect no. Th there will be no pol politics in that. Mm -hmm. It will just go to Kenya Kwanza. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and, and you, the by elections coming up January 5th. Okay. Is it too early to tell? <laughs> it's not too early, but what I can say is uh, we have hopes in the Bungoma uh, senatorial bid. If we put our cards together and put them in a very nice box and decide to package it well as as emu and we hit the ground as early as possible i am sure we can be able to get that one seat mm -hmm. and i'm hoping as uh, our fellow azimians azimians who are at home who come mm. from this county mm. and on that day whoever baba will front or whoever as as emu we will front that we may come out in large numbers and vote for this particular person so that we can continue retaining our numbers whether it's in senate or in the national assembly i cannot speak much about kandara and elgeo maraquet but what i can say is about garissa township yeah, and, and even as, as you proceed maybe you can move your mic closer to your, oh, to, to your mouth uh, uh, they want to hear your, your voice <laughs> <laughs> yes um, so, so you're saying kandara and, and uh elgeo and, uh, maraquet may yeah. be a little bit tricky yeah but garissa township i think kuna hopes if, if we look at who's the governor and the seat that he holds it's an odm seat so i'm hopeful that as as Imeo, we'll be able to front someone who is strong so that we can be able to maintain our numbers in the national assembly so i feel like okay. for uh, bungoma and uh, garissa if we put our things together and we and we hit the ground very well we'll be able to get the seats here Okay, okay. And um, looking at the CSS, now that they have uh, uh, gotten into office, in terms of service delivery, of course, there are some that have started with a ban. <laughs> <laughs> we are seeing a lot of uh, comments uh, from some. But uh, in terms of delivery, uh, uh, Juliet, do you believe that these cabinets that uh, the president has, uh, has uh, set up will work? Um. As a politician, sometimes I look at track record. Uh, some of these, uh, I will not mention them, some of these CS don't have the best track record. Some of them have matters in court. And it's, it's, it's so sad that in, an, in a generation like mine, we are able to front people who are not fit for a particular position, and we're able to sit down and Kenyans, as Kenyans and say, just because I campaign for who and who, I am best fit for these seats. There are professionals out there who have who are well knowledge in the fields that some of them have been put in, and I felt like uh, the president would have even thought about that before what Wengine Wapio is Okazi. But again, I will not mention names. But a big congratulations to Ababu Namwamba. Ababu Namwamba has largely supported the youth. I feel like it was well deserved on his part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Abar. Uh, my comment is simple. They have a president who is a workaholic. So I believe that he will give them the latitude also to perform their duties. 
with the president, the active president that I know, mm. I have some hopes that we, the, the cabinet will work. I'm always keen on your choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm an independent. I'm not in Azimia. Yes. I am an independent MCA, yes. so I give very independent... Yeah, and, and I, I'm keen on, on, on your choice of words. Yeah. And uh, you're saying you have some hope. Some. Why some? Some hope because I know how politics can be. Mm. Uh, you ca if you over-expect, sometimes things might not work as you think. Mm. I believe that with the Kenya Kwanzaa government and with a working president and having the fact that um, most of the CS that he chose are pol politicians, they understand the feelings of the people. They understand the problems that our people are going through. Mm -hmm. That is why I've said that I have some hope that these people will deliver, these CS will deliver on what they promised. Okay. Yes. Some hope. Regardless, and uh, what do you think? This, um, uh, Juliet mentioned something about portfolio and, 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 and the back, background history. Do you feel like uh, 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 the skeletons in the closet might affect their uh, workflow and uh, it might, uh, and their past might actually come back to affect their service delivery? I don't really think so. Mm -hmm. As a country, we chose a way to do away with chapter six. So we, basically you've not heard me talk about integrity. Because as a country, we chose to do away with that chapter six. How? We are not, we didn't implement it. It is just on paper. So, so I, will not, the, I will not talk about with chapter six of the constitution. It, it is not. It is not applied. So I will not talk about it. their integrity. I will not talk about their court issues. But I believe that they have got the expertise. They have got the experience. These are people who have been uh, members of parliament for a long time. Some of them have held cab cabinet portfolio. I believe that they, they are up to the task, regardless of the chapter six issues that they have. <laughs> Very funny. So you say, just put away chapter six first, yeah. they will deliver. The country decided to do away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Who decided? I wonder, when was that decided? <laughs> if you realize, if you look at even the appointments, how yeah. things are done, Chapter 6 was only implemented on Nancy Baraza. And then thereafter, we, we left it. Julia? I agree, I agree. And I can also state that on August 9th, <coughs> Chapter 6 again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <coughs> now, let's talk about something else then. Mm -hmm. Taxes. Um, the president is uh, planning on uh, on on in, uh, on on ensuring that anyone who is above eighteen, as long as you clock eighteen and you have a care pin, you get taxed. And this one came uh, after, when he uh, was defending his call to the public to pay their taxes because the government is making a move to ramp up revenue collection in its race to meet the six trillion Kenya shilling collection target by 2027. Will it be met? Juliet. Again, we are taxing uh, 18 and above. I'm 25. I am jobless. Um, I have to depend maybe from home and a few uh, jobs happen. Just small, small, um, how do I put them? Small, small contracts that keep me going. If you tell me right now I'm supposed to be taxed, and if you check my impressor, hey, surely, Mr. President, I at a camera. Uh -uh. All right, you, 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 you're talking about about impressor, and that's, that's one interesting bit here. Mm -hmm. Because now um, we are looking at uh, the KRA. It was uh, some, some, some research was done. So the president was wondering why we have only 7 million people with carry the carry pin yet you mentioned mpesa we have over 30 million mpesa users kuna pesa mbaya inapotea hapa katika don't you think so obare leave it leave it go to i think you're getting the president out of context the president in his mind i don't think he wants to tax everyone above 18 what the president was implying is that we need to increase the tax base 
so that more people are brought on board to start contributing into paying taxes. Uh, mm -hmm. There are so many people, and I can confirm today that who are making a lot of money, that, but they are not paying tax. Mm -hmm. There are so many millionaires I know in this country who don't pay tax. Those are the people whom we need to have be, to be forced to start paying taxes. By increasing the tax uh, base, mm -hmm. you will be cautioning the poor people because our problem as a country is tax evasion. People are not b paying taxes. Okay. Yes. So you're saying you're not, you're not looking at anyone above 18 but increasing the tax base? Increasing the tax base and sealing all the loopholes of people who are evading tax. So many millionaires here in town are not paying tax. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is, that is the problem as a country. But if we can seal the tax uh, lo evasion loopholes and then increase the tax base, we'll have enough money to run this country. So the care is now under pressure. Because the truth is, the pressure is there <coughs> to expand the tax collection by issuing every adult Kenyan with a PIN. See, that's the target. Mm -hmm. That every adult Kenyan must have a KRA PIN whether that can be uh, 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 achieved or not is the question which would make every adult citizen eligible to, eligible to pay taxes mm -hmm. and that's what i was trying to drive at there because now every person who is an adult must have a care pin mm -hmm. that by they must pay taxes that that will be in order because you realize there are people and, and i've said this mm -hmm. you are operating a bank account but I saw uh, that feature has been included that when you are opening a bank account, you have to put your carry tax, uh, mm -hmm. carry pin. Yeah. Previously, it was not there. You find this is a millionaire having millions in the account, but he's not paying tax. Mm. But with the inclusion of the carry pin on your bank details, we can be able to track people who are trying to evade tax. Okay. Julius? Um, if, it, if, if you're saying what the president is saying, then mm -hmm. I feel like the communication channel would, the way he commun communicates and says it, the way he elaborates on it, should be more clear. Because for us, if I sit down with my fellow youth and we're discussing matters to do with the same thing, our issue is, what are we being taxed? Minta taxiwa. Kuna ata kuna nifuliza yangu ya miatano do I'm being taxed on. You see, there's that question of, what am I being taxed? What do I have to mm. be taxed with? You know, get. Mm. But if you see, but if you, you're able to elaborate and say it's the millionaires who are evading taxes, it's those people who are making a lot of money mm -hmm. and are not being are not paying back taxes. Then I'm able to understand that no, the government is not coming for me. It's not looking for our little footy. They are looking for other people. I feel like he should be elaborate in how he communicates and how he puts out. I, 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 let's just, for clarity purposes, let's make it clear, Obari. Mm. You're mentioning that the target is uh, uh, that Kenyan millionaire. Yet, we are looking at a conversation where we are looking at uh, uh, tax reforms, uh, tax reform measures that uh, could see every Kenyan, as long as you are above 18, you get into the tax bracket by KRA ensuring that you have a PIN. That is the point. I have a PIN. Yes. I don't pay tax because I have nothing. I, I got the PIN when I was joining campus. So having the PIN does not make you, does not qualify you to pay tax. The PIN is only to identify you as mm -hmm. a taxpayer. So. Today, I, uh, luckily I've started earning, I'll pay tax. That is the essence of the PIN. The PIN is just an identifier. You know that mm. when you have the PIN, you're paying tax. But it was to identify you. Today, if money reflects in my account, if, I st if I'm employed formally, mm. I'll have to pay tax. But there are people in the informal settlement, people doing business with no KRA PIN. These people are transacting millions of money. These are the people that we okay. need to have uh, their details. They be registered by KRA. They start paying taxes. Okay. okay. Yes. Huh? Mm, okay. I'd say this. Um, I'd prefer that 
his means of communication as a president should be more elaborate so that you are able to understand. Like you have uh, b been able to explain to us f from a local man's perspective and have been able to understand that no, the government is not coming for me. So I feel like in the same way that he should also elaborate on how we are be people are getting to be taxed, whether it's through um, those millionaires who are evading taxes, mm. whether it's through... Um, Small, small businesses that bring a lot of money now, Umejifita Mahali, you are not being taxed. But yeah, I feel like it should be elaborate. The communication should be elaborate because for us as youths, we feel like the president is coming for us. We feel like the president maybe is not able to run the economy. So he's looking for loopholes or he's looking for ways. But, 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 but how is he looking for loopholes and ways and getting to you yet... It is the same same user are saying we need the economy to be back we need the cost of living to be brought down within 100 days these are the measures to bring down the cost of living well, first thing first um i will i will i will go a few months back or a few weeks back uh, to when the president said that in the Kenya Kwanzaa government, the youths will even be able to get CS positions. We were hoping even with the youths and sports and whatever, it would go to someone young so that us as youth, we feel mm -hmm. empowered. Mm -hmm. but, but Ababu uh, is, he's right for the job, I will not lie. Ababu is there. Yes. He's youthful. Mm -hmm. Huh? He's not youthful. <laughs> <laughs> At who? Youth. Ababu is youthful. No, <laughs> Ab Ababu is youthful. No, we can argue. There's, there's a difference with staying young, with uh, older, but being youthful. Murkomen, mm -mm. youthful guy. For me, if, if we're talking about youthful, I'm talking about someone who's 35 and below. So if, okay. if you're above 35, and even the constitution clearly stipulates it's 35 and below, and I was hoping that there'd be a fresh blood into that government so that this this kind of person would be able to address our issues as the youth. But now earlier on you said that mm -hmm. this this move by the president to uh, in terms of taxation mm -hmm. is like a move to get a loophole. Um, it's like feel attacked that the president is not <laughs> addressing the issue itself. Yes, exactly. You see, if you say so that we are able to tax, so that we are able to, to deal with our um, the debt that we have had, um, I also feel like that's not the necessary measure. I cannot advise as an economist, but I do not feel like it's the necessary measure right now. When Kenyans are hungry, you're also telling us we are going to tax you. That's an anuonga 230 shillings. Rent ni inaongezeka every other single day. The, 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 the economy is at its worst. Mm. People are broke, people are jobless. And then again, you come and tell me you're going to be taxed. I, and and, 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 youth, and for those who don't, who, don't, who don't get this, let me quote what the president said. And I quote, there are only 7 million people with KRA PIN. Mm -hmm. In the same economy, Safaricom's m -Pesa has 30 million registered customers transacting billions daily. The fact that this opportunity remains unclear to KRA demonstrates why radical changes are necessary. End of quote. The president wants the number of Kenyans with KRA PINs to match the number of mobile money transfer customers. Obare. No, I, I, I fully support him. Fully support. You, you cannot run this economy by, by tax from only 7 million people. Because tax is what enables the country to run. So, 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 so it's not just the millionaires. It's not just the that's, millionaires. That, that's what I wanted no. you to... <laughs> Anyone yeah? getting income. Anyone time. getting income. Yes. They give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Caesar. Anyone getting income ought to pay his due tax to mm. the state so that the state can also provide these services they are complaining about. You do not expect services if you do not pay tax. You, ca you cannot get services if you can't pay tax. So anyone getting income, as little as it may be, mm -hmm. but th there is also a question that uh, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> okay. if we can have reasonable income All right. people be, be, be taxed we will be good as a country. And, and, and by January, you feel like increase, it may work? Yeah, we have to increase. The, okay. the only thing I'm saying, we have to increase the number of people paying taxes to the state. All right. As long as I'm allowed to file my new returns at the end of the year, 
I am good with it. Mimi ndo rada ni juu to 0.4% juu 1.5 0.5 and there's nothing that is entering my bank account. Uh, to bring this discussion to a close uh, and, and, and and that's where we, we we just end it. A big thanks to uh, Obare Thomas and uh, 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 Juliet, uh, Juliet uh, coming through uh, to discuss these matters concerning uh, 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 youth and politics. Juliet Nyabuto, Thomas Obari, thanks so much for coming. Pleasure. I want to give you time to just have a final word within 10 seconds. Talk to the Kenyan youth watching you today. Uh, let me start with you, uh, Obari. That's your camera there. Thank you. I'll be brief. The only uh, issue I'll uh, I'll communicate directly with the young people of this country that let them be active in their spaces, let them take up their space. No one will fight for you. All it right. is you to fight for your own space. It is you to define what you want as a young person for this country. Oh. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. um, to the young Kenyans out there, uh, what I'd want to see is um, let us learn to not be silent. Um, Let's learn, again as he has said, let's learn to fight in the different spaces that we are in. And if something does not sit right with you, then you, you're definitely allowed to air your voice. And your voice needs to be heard. Yeah, All right, thank you so much. And that brings us to the end of this morning conversation right here on Youth and Politics. My name is Ram Maguko. Keep it one in the morning. We still have more coming up your way.